Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Monday, April 25th, 2016. Dealing with a rather interesting weather pattern for the next 48 hours as we have a stationary boundary that's going to set up over the region. For today, though, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Can't rule out an isolated shower, but most locations will see scattered cloud cover to clear skies. Currently, we have temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s over much of the region. A few Upper 30s to lower 40s mixed into some of the pine barrens here where it can get pretty chilly, especially with clear skies and light and variable winds. Now we do have some variable cloud cover over the New York City metro and that's with a warm front at 850 millibars lifting northward, producing a few isolated showers but overall just cloudy skies with winds shifting to the southwest at around 5 miles per hour. On the latest radar, you can see those showers. None of this is really reaching the ground. I can't rule out a little bit of drizzle, but uh, that's about it. Uh, with this overcast cloud cover settling in over the New York City metro, this will lift to the north with sky cloud cover by this afternoon. We can see that very nicely on the infrared satellite picture. High pressure generally in control for today. Can't rule out an isolated shower, but that's about it. With temperatures in the New York City metro rising into the mid to upper 60s and the Philadelphia metro, in the lower to mid 70s so basically the delaware river valley from central new jersey on southwest through the philadelphia metro a rather warm day with temperatures well above normal now this front right here is going to kind of lock in and settle over the philadelphia and new york city metropolitan area and it's going to line up basically over northeastern pennsylvania through northern new jersey and then over long island to the north of that boundary temperatures are going to be rather chilly we're talking about temperatures in the upper 40s for portions of Connecticut, mid-60s in the New York City metro. So that's already a pretty impressive thermal gradient. And then upper 70s to lower 80s possible in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. So that's a good 40 degree thermal gradient setting up over the northern mid-Atlantic for tomorrow. With this wave of low pressure moving along this stationary boundary, that's going to set up the potential for showers, especially to the north of the boundary, and the potential for strong to severe thunderstorms to the south of this boundary. So let's dive into this forecast for this afternoon. Look for sky cloud cover. It can't rule out an isolated shower. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s in the New York City metro, lower to mid 70s in the Philadelphia metro. For tonight, that boundary starts setting up over the region with increasing clouds and threat for some drizzle and isolated showers is going to continue on through tonight into tomorrow morning scattered showers have developed throughout the region with temperatures falling into the upper 50s to lower 60s over the new york city and philadelphia metropolitan areas but to the north of this boundary temperatures will crash into the upper 30s so it's going to get pretty chilly to the north of this boundary tomorrow morning meanwhile to the south of it Nice and warm. Again, we're already setting up that nice thermal gradient with waves of low pressure moving through. For tomorrow afternoon, that boundary will drop south. Now, during the day, to the north of this boundary, these temperatures are going to be pretty chilly. This frontal boundary will not drop south until later on in the evening. So, let's say this is around 7 p.m. So, between 2 p.m. and 7 p.m., you're going to have a thermal gradient setting up around here with about 40 degrees, where New York City is going to be basically in the mid 60s to the north of new york city temperatures ranging anywhere from the upper 40s to lower 60s as you go from northeast to southwest and then in the philadelphia metro you're going to have temperatures ranging anywhere from the upper 60s to the lower 80s as you go from again northeast to southwest and then where this low pressure system moves through and where the foam boundary sets up and where the most unstable conditions set up that's where you're going to see the potential for thunderstorms capable of heavy downpours, frequent lightning, hail, wind gusts over 50 miles per hour, focusing on east central Pennsylvania through southeastern Pennsylvania and central and southern New Jersey for the potential for those strong to severe thunderstorms. I think New York City metro, you generally end up with showers heavy at times with some embedded thunderstorms. So uh, certainly a rather active day and one we're going to have to watch very carefully with a wide range of temperatures. By the time we get to Wednesday, far easier forecast, high pressure and control, clearing skies, lows in the mid, lower to mid 40s in the suburbs, upper 40s to lower 50s in your urban areas, high temperatures in the lower to mid 60s.
For Thursday, look for scattered cloud cover with a few showers possible. Look for lows in the mid to upper 40s, highs in the mid to upper 50s, so a much chillier day with that marine air mass influencing the region. On Friday, an area of low pressure will pass to the south with a few scattered showers of threat. Lows in the mid to upper 40s, highs in the upper four, upper 50s to lower 60s, excuse me. And Saturday and Sunday, high pressure is in control with rather pleasant weather conditions and temperatures near normal in the mid to upper 40s for lows and lower to mid 60s, or should I say mid to upper 60s for highs. That is your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NY and JPA weather, and as always, stay safe out there.